what's up youtube famous here guys hello how's it going how you guys doing i know you guys had a great valentine's day but guys i'm not here for that i'm here to bring you guys some breaking news yes breaking news now i know you guys have been listening reading viewing all that good stuff and reading articles about the new additional yes i say additional the fourth and final not final but the fourth additional uh dlc for the gears of war 3 okay let me just take a pause right there collect my mind anyway Yes, the fourth DLC has been announced and it's called Forces of Nature. Where's the applause, guys? Give me some applause. Yes, now... Uh, Alright, so now I know you guys have been listening and I know you guys have been hearing a lot about it, but let me just break it down to what exactly is coming out March 27th. Yes, guys, that is the date that it comes out, March 27th. And this is the final, final, if you have the uh, season pass, this is the final thing that you can get for free. This is the final DLC that you will be obtaining for free that the season pass actually all oh, <coughs> offers. <laughs> Excuse me, I just kind of choked on spit there. Alright guys, let's start with the maps now. Let's first start off with the maps. First off, let's start off with the new, three new maps. I'm starting off with uh, Artillery, which is basically a giant missile silo map. And has a giant tornado in the background, which looks amazing. That's one. I'm going to show you guys a picture right about now. There you go. Enjoy it. Yes, enjoy it. Next map is going to be Aftermath, which is basically... It looks amazing so far, in my opinion. I'm going to show you a picture in like three seconds. One, two, three. There you go. And it has a tsunami with a ship on top of it, which also looks amazing. I'm really excited about that. Next map is Cove, which is basically a port town. It looks fairly small. But it has fog all over, so you know you get that you know weather feel, like you feel, you know I me mean? get that nature feeling out of it. Now, thank God, Cliff has been listening to us because check it out, guys. We have two new flashbacks, two flashbacks, and I know you guys already heard about it. Yes, Jacinto is back. The fucking map that everyone loved is back, and everyone's happy. Jacinto. And the recreation of Jacinto looks disgusting. Oh my god, I'm so glad Gears of War 3 bring, brought this map back. Looks disgusting. I'm going to show you guys a picture right about now. There you go. Now, if you want to see the pictures with more depth, just pause the video so you can, you know, take a good look, take a good glance. Or, or I'm going to leave another video link, which is going to lead you to the additional gameplay. All right. So one, and the last map I forgot to mention before uh, I get to the next topic is Ravens Down. Now, I haven't played Gears of War 1 that much to know of the map, but I heard that it's fairly small, and there's a lot of controversy because a lot of people can retro lance across a map and saw it off, and a lot of people are so far are saying, hey, Cliffy B, this is a bad idea. And, but so far, I have no opinion on it, but I'm going to show you a picture right about now. I gotta be fairly quick guys, I'm so sorry, but now moving on to the characters, now what we have here are four new characters, three of them are already recognized throughout the Gears of Community, now we have the limited edition Mechanical Baird, Savage Drone, and also, um, Mr. Mc uh, no, I already said Commando Dom, Commando Beaner, and the last one, which is gonna be a secret hush hush, but I heard is gonna be Savage Hunter, I'll get back to you guys if I get the information correct. Anyway guys, now east now about Easter eggs, yes. Now they're putting in Easter eggs for the horde definitely for each map. Now I heard from a secret bird that it's gonna be elemental cleavers, which uh, let me explain really quickly that once you find the Easter eggs and once you unlock the Easter eggs, you have these cleavers that have like these elemental forces on each new map. And for instance, it's say if you hit somebody, say if you hit locust with the fire cleaver, they get set on fire. Talk about badass. Come on. Give me a high five. Anyway, guys, let's move on to the skins now. Alright, now there's gonna... I heard... I heard... I'm not too sure. I heard there's gonna be about... Um... 10 new skins, or maybe less. 7 new skins. Which is gonna be great. There's gonna be 250 gamer scores that's gonna be added on with the new, uh... DLC. And, yeah. That's pretty much. Now I'm gonna show... I'm gonna end this video with just showing you guys a couple of, um, uh you know, pictures that I found on the internet, on the web, that was posted up today, like, less than 16 hours ago, 
and i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you guys enjoyed this information i hope you guys like and subscribe thank you guys and i hope you guys are excited because once again i'm gonna repeat it one more time march 27th force is gonna be unleashed all right nah that's corny all right guys all right guys uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay take care and yes like the video thank you